Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. Alongside the Ruckus, Hummer coming at you, back at you again with another action figure. Not necessarily a review, but an unboxing. Tell me about it. And I don't even know if you guys can actually see us because the box is so big. The long-awaited, uh, as promised, now delivered, the HasLab Marvel Legends Galactus. Um, Ruck is the MCU, uh, not MCU, but the Marvel expert, the comic book expert or whatever. You guys know me for basically Transformers, uh, Masters of the Universe, that kind of thing. So, my man, this is the delivery that came to him uh, today. And again, we've been waiting over a year for this. So we're excited. Um, mine is actually going to be there uh, tomorrow. Uh, there was a little bit of a hiccup with FedEx. And if you've seen any of my unboxing videos with Hazlab Projects, you know my frustration with the FedEx deliveries. But Ruckus got his today, so it's on you. Yep, was uh, notified, got the uh, shipping notification last week. Of course, I let the world know, and uh, the jealousy ensued, of course. No, it wasn't jealousy. It was more envy. People was happy for a brother. And uh, then um, today, this morning, uh, or rather I should say yesterday, uh, got the notification that um, FedEx received the packaging. And uh, that meant automatic because they shipped very nearby here, out of a, an area called Chino, for those of you that don't live in California. Chino is approximately 47 miles from here, so I knew that meant I'm getting it tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow has become today. And uh, He was actually tempted to drive up there. It's about what? Uh, I wasn't going to uh, That was only talking junk. It's, 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 it's a 40 minute drive from here. No biggie. No, I've actually driven past that FedEx facility before mm -hmm. going to somewhere else. So I knew exactly where it was. I knew exactly I where was my boy it. was, but I was like, nah, come on now. <laughs> Tomorrow, I got, I mean, you all can see what's going on behind me. I've got more than enough stuff to play with to hold me over until this arrives. And after I'm waiting more than a year, almost a year and a half, I guess you can what's wait another like 24? Yeah, what's you know. another 24? Let's get this bad boy cracked open. You got your, your well, box cutter? Come on now. Came prepared. Never leave home or stay home. Safety first, kids. Safety first. For exactly. Exactly. Safety. All exactly. right. Lifting it up. If you are a minor, a kid, or whatever, I don't imagine you'd have this. But uh, who knows? But you could be a forty-something-year-old, fifty-something, sixty-something-year-old. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking. Kid. I'm talking about a minor, someone who can't even vote yet. Anyhow, oh, yeah, box yeah. cutter. As, as uh, uh, Sir Henny uh, has already uh, stated, be careful. Uh, cut away from you, as away. I am going to demonstrate. And I do appreciate you calling me Sir Henny. That oh, sounds yeah. very distinguished. I Why think not? I'm going to run with that. Why not? Yeah. Other side, sir? Away, right? Away from you, please. This is dangerous. It could be. That's why you do it away from me. Oh, you know, I'm having trouble. This is kind of dull, bro. Oh, oh it's, it. it's gotten it. much use. There you go. Much right. use the past couple of years. All right. Going across Thank the you. Top. And now I'm going across the top, starting from your end, and working my way back to you, babe. You guys also I'm remember not to cut too deep. Actually, you know what? They might be okay because word on the street from, well, not word on our streets because. The people over in the UK were getting this before us. So, chip, chip, cheerio. We're talking box over inside England. of a box. Yep. So, here we go. Yep. I'm doing the tip, the tilt in, like this. Then, we're going to go one more time, like that. Wait, Still in frame. Time to get the shape on. So you got the shipper inside of the shipper. And now, moving this out of the way. We're we'll moving up here. No space. Oh. Sure. Watch the top there. Big box. And uh, before we go any further, oh, that was the shipper box anyway. You can't do that. Can't do that uh, comparison just yet because uh, we already moved that out of the way. That's the shipper, that's the box. What I'm pointing at is the uh, the Sentinel box. I brought it up here for comparison, but we've already gotten past that part. Right. So, once Actually, again. Actually, you know what, the, the, the Sentinel didn't come in two boxes. It did? Yeah, it came in one. I remember that. 
Oh, maybe it did. Yeah, it came in one box. But Anyhow, this one's more special, I guess, so. Once again, I'll let you handle your side first, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you see how polite we are? The world is not full of polite people. Be polite. I got it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Watch yourself. Oh, that's it. I got it. All right, so we know a lot of you guys have already seen the unboxings from our friends across the pond over in the UK. So you know what's coming next. Box inside of a box inside of a box. Part three. Shake it till we make it again. Uh, and because I was blessed with a beautiful singing voice, Taller than me. Beautiful singing voice. Can you see me above there? Do I have to play the peak game? I'm a regular Luther Vandross. There we go. All right. I don't even know if that's is that that's in frame actually. I think yeah, the top is right there. There it is. So you see the front there. Now I'm gonna go to the side. The side is just basically like LED readouts on Galactus's ship, as you can see there. And turn it to the back. Now this is a nice little backdrop scene to use for like a diorama so that's pretty cool and then of course more of the same on the other side there the top just has the name of our boy as you see and i'm sure the bottom just has legalese legal jargon yeah that's all it does okay so ladies and gentlemen this Box is amazing. Uh, so uh, has the Hasbro team, the Marvel Legends team, actually did a real good job. Like uh, Ruck was even stating, you can use the background, the back side of the box as what do they call it? Uh, what did they say? Like, diorama backdrop. Like a diorama for it, and uh, that's how big this thing is. That you actually can, you have to use this big old box uh, to do a diorama. So let's get him out of the box because we've been waiting a year and a half or so for it. And I am going to assume since this is the front that our Galactus and everything is this is right side up when we lay it flat so that's how it's going to go down so here we go we're going to either strike pay dirt or we're going to learn today here and now why I don't gamble Last time we did a sentinel, I think the same thing happened. I'm gonna have to tip it. <laughs> huh? Oh, whoops, thank you, sir. Oh. We got a special guest in the building. You better. We got a special guest in the building. For all of you guys that wanted to know who produced the Toys, Noise, and Action Figures theme, DJ Rex is in the building. <laughs> I'm not getting no more. You're not getting <laughs> he's going He's going to play it just the way he plays with production. <laughs> you will hear him, but you'll never see oh, him. Oh, no, no, no. I've never seen this man <laughs> modest in his life. <laughs> you will hear him, but you'll never see him. But for those of you that need to know, that didn't know, that want to know, DJ Rick is the guy, that's my best friend, that actually produced the Toys, Noise, and Action Figures. And his daughter actually helped on the production too, yeah. but I'm sure she doesn't want to get on camera. Right <laughs> so the first, thing, people. the first thing I pull out is um, the instruction that shows sketches on how to apply the batteries. Galactus takes three, count them, three triple A, uh, three? Triple A? I'm sorry, four. four. Two, two in and the two. head, yeah, yeah and two, and, two in the and chest. two in the chest. So, or in the back. Yeah, so... Uh, well, we'll see. I mean, that's why we're doing that unboxing. Put that there, and it looks like I'm good to go for gambling because I guessed right. Go ahead. Ah, there we go. Ali, hold on a second. It's still going. <laughs> it's still going. And she's free. Now I'm going to tip her so you guys can see what we see.
There it is in all its glory. Galactus and his three herald and face plates, the whole nine. So uh, you're waiting here on um, Red wow. so we can get his wow. reaction, his initial reaction. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me look, let me look. Turn it this way. I have a feeling I'm kind of off key, but I haven't warmed up yet. So. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Setting, yeah. setting it down. Yeah. This is amazing. This is crazy. It is. This is just. Yeah, that's. This is just crazy. Uh, that's nice. Where do we start? It's I, just crazy. I, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. take it all in. Take it all in. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to remove now. Keep in mind, I'm putting all this back the way it is, so I can take pictures as though. I'm catching it for the first time. Okay, so now that we've got our packaging totally open, we're going to start with um, unleashing our heralds, beginning with Norm Rand himself, the Silver Surfer. This is uh, essentially just a, uh, we'll call it a repaint. It's a little bit duller than the Surfer we know, and it has a new head sculpt as, uh, as well. So they did uh, change up on the head sculpt. So we, we've got that. That's first. He comes with two sets of additional hands, a uh, an effects piece that's uh, molded in purple. We've seen those effects pieces before. And um, the cool thing he's got is this stand. I'm going to take this out because this stand uh, fits in. Of course, he uh, has his surfboard as well. I don't know if I can get that out. Yes, I can. And... Um, the surfboard fits in the stand some kind of way. I believe this way. Yeah. Slide it in some kind of way. Get it in there. So it fits in very snugly, which is cool. You've got that peg, and you could put Norn's either either foot because, as you know, with the ruckus, he's big on holes, peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Pause. <laughs> And so there, yeah, and then he'll eventually fit surfboard, in. Yeah. He'll eventually fit in Galactus' hands or wherever you can fit that, and that's how that goes. So that's our Silver Surfer. Next up, we're gonna do Frankie Ray. Frankie Ray Nova, A.K.A. Nova. They even have her listed as Frankie Ray on the box, y'all. So she's not getting respect for Nova because they don't want anybody getting her confused with Richard Ryder. No, what, no the other thing is, that's is. the first Marvel Legends uh, Frankie Ray that we've ever gotten, right? Yes, it is. Including Toy Biz? Including Toy Biz, um, including Toy Biz, as far as Marvel Legends goes. Um, their line previously to, uh, that came before Marvel Legends, a uh, Frankie Ray Nova uh, was out. But, uh, you know, limited articulation. Um, I think they were six inch scale, but they were not Marvel Legends by any stretch. Anyway... She's coming on the new Shriek mold, so that's a plus. So she's a bit curvier than we're used to, which is great. Got some, you know, she's pinless, both arms and knees, double jointed both ways. And uh, yeah, I like, like I said, double I like jointed. her uh, Beyonce uh, uh, diva fire hair. That is there that it is. is. Yep. yep. So we got that. Yep. She also comes with two additional sets of hands. Uh, grasping hands, I don't know what for, because she comes with nothing to grasp, right. and a pair of fists. Yep. And then, of course, her feast de resistance is yep. she also comes with a stand, and this stand is banging. Which is going to work well with uh, Phoenix figures. Yeah, it'll work with Phoenix. You probably can work it with a human torch yep. if yep. you want to. You see down there, this is meant so that uh, it will fit in Galactus's hand yep. as well. And uh, set this down real quick. I'm going to go over this again when I do uh, reviews of uh, these figures, but uh, I believe that it, uh, yeah, I believe it fits in here some kind of way. It, there's a little spot here for her foot to fit, and then you wrap some of these flames around her leg, if I can get it, yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's just to give you a basic idea, nothing fancy, but you could see how you'll end up getting uh, Frankie in her uh, flame stand. And like I said, this is uh, designed so that it'll fit in the palm of Galactus' hand. Finally, the third tier 
for this uh, Galactus Hazlab project, and another Herald. This is the one I was excited about more. And another first time for us, for Marvel Legends, we have Morg. And as you can see, Morg, very unique sculpt right there. Everyone was, was very excited when this was revealed. Look at that grin. So yeah, this uh, Morg is one of the uh, more uh, sinister heralds of Galactus. Galactus being an amoral being, meaning he, you know, he's not good nor bad. He just is. You know, if you're going to serve him, he'll bestow power cosmic on you, and then you have to find him worlds. Some of his heralds were uh, very conscientious about that. And would find worlds that were uninhabited by sentient life. Others, and Silver Surfer. Yeah. Others just did not care, like Morg. In fact, Morg, Morg took pleasure in um, conquering worlds. Now, question real quick. Now, this figure right here, the reason I was excited about it once they announced it, and then they just knocked it out the park and it ended up passing that tier. Um, I was wondering, is this a deluxe size figure? Because he seems like the size of maybe Thing or like a Hulk. Nah, he's not. He's not. A, he wouldn't be deluxe. He's 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 beefier, but he's not deluxe. I'm gonna bring up Norrin, aka a Silver Surfer, next to him, and you see, he's not really deluxe. All oh, right, right, gotcha. You know, gotcha. Um, he's he's just a little bit taller, not much. Okay. You know, he's not deluxe at all. He's not as tall as some figures that and have been in regular cards like Colossus or the thing. And he comes with his axe. His axe is his long accessory. Let's see if I can get that out. There it is. So he does come with his axe. It looks like he can grasp it in either hand since both of his hands are C grip hands. Yep. So there you go. That is excellent. Now we're gonna to get to the meat and potatoes. And now we're gonna to go to the final tier and the one thing that almost everybody was like, huh? Scratch their head. This is a one-off. This only happened one time where Dr. Doom actually uh, became Galactus, if you wanna say that. So we ended up getting this uh, head as the fourth tier when um, truth be told, we were hoping for another Herald, Gabriel, uh, Airwalker comes to mind for that, but uh, we didn't get it. Still looks nice. It'll probably stay in the box. I know yeah, mine will. I know I'll take some shots with it, and then that'll be the last time I mess with it. So it's good. One What's thing next? I can say oh, is yeah. it does have what we're going to be missing out on um, going forward, and that's that new plastic smell. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, the new packaging uh, that the regular size figure is coming in, it doesn't, the, the plastic doesn't have that smell, I can tell uh. you. Yeah. Anyhow, that's enough of that. So we also got, uh, that was part of uh, the, the, the regular accessories for Galactus, um, face plates. His uh, face from his nose and, and teeth come out. So we got him yeah. gritting right here that's so we that, can change his uh, expression. That dental work. Is yeah. Oh, yeah. Deal. Yeah. With that. So. Mm -hmm. And then we also got this. This um, is uh, from a storyline that um where uh, galactus was teeth. deceased look at those teeth right there and in fact yeah. they had um an illustration of galactus <laughs> as a skeleton on um a former i think it was a 2016 sdcc exclusive was, it, was, it was he under underneath new york city at that point or something like that not with the picture on the back of no uh, i mean like i mean the, with, with the storyline story yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so there's that then We've got the big man himself, so now we're going to have to go through out. the uh, the thing of getting him out. So we've got a few of these uh, styrofoam pieces, styrofoam barricades, yep. and then of course he's now covered in wax paper to keep him safe and sound. And then now it's time to get him up. All right, All right so we've got uh, our guy Galen now known as Galactus. By the way, Galen is what his immortal name is when he was alive in the previous universe. As, um, for those who that don't know, Galactus is the absolute first being of our current universe, uh, born or reborn, I should say, in the wake of the Big Bang. He is not, God is. Right? Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, um, as you can see, he's not complete. That's because separately, his uh, antlers, we'll call them that, 
come separate. And I don't believe they a specific are way. Specific way. I think there way. is. Hold on, let me see. Let's see. I don't have. I don't see any L's or R's. Uh, you're right. Um, there's a flat side though. There's a curved side and a flat side. So let's take a look. Okay. So whatever. Where? What side is the flat side? The flat side is on this side, on the back side of the head. So it goes in like that, and that looks about right. Can't really go too wrong, huh? There we go, with the other side here. Which side is flat on that side? And there we go. Now he looks like Galactus. And now Galactus is complete. Yes, indeed. Wow. Now that that's a sculpture. I know a lot of people get mad about. <laughs> I know a lot of people get mad about Haslab projects and you know get get angry at Hasbro and things like that. But I don't think this is the type of figure that would be on shelves because number one, the price point, and even when they say you could bring down the price point, um, the last time they did a Galactus that was available for retail was a a bit a bath a builder figure which was a lot smaller. All right, so we got to get this guy lit up. And that's the next thing with Galactus to make sure that he's complete. Uh, he requires four batteries, two in his head and two in his torso. I'm turning him around real quick just so you can see. I believe here's where you get in to get to the batteries in his torso. I'm not going to um, do that, bore you guys with that. We'll do that off camera yep. and get him lit up. All right, y'all. We've um, we've uh, installed the batteries. So Galactus is now ready to be straight powered up. And uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, how you do it. You uh, press the button that's in the middle of his chest. And you see it blinks up like that. And it's basically glowing like that. Now, I don't know if uh, on the back of his head, which is another button for his eyes and stuff, if that works as well, but I'm gonna press that too to see if it works in unison. So I, I can tell from the back that it's blinking because I've got actual lighting back here. It's, so I it's can all lit up right now. So yeah, so there it is. So he's looking, I'm sure he's looking banging. I'll, I'll check it out um, in post and see, uh, you know, see in the aftermath. So that's pretty cool. His, he's got a, um, I'm gonna turn him around so you can see what's going on behind him. You can see um, there and also in the back there. So he's got, he's got actual um, lighting. If you recall, I had to install his antlers and you see that they have lights also when they connect up. So that's pretty cool. Nice. That is pretty cool. So, yep. That's our you want to do the faceplate on him so, now? Yeah. So, yeah, I'll do that while he's lit up. Change out the faceplate. Just grab him by the nose. So, yep, we've got that grinning face. And we're going to do it. We're going to do it dramatic style. <laughs> there it is. As he changes up. He's got the gritting teeth. He's uh, about had it up to here. People are keeping him from his dinner. You know, he ain't like that. So he's starting static with everybody. And don't start with me because I'm the ruckness monster. I don't care that you collect this and how angry you are. Because if you mess with me, you want to know what's going to happen to you? I'll show you what's going to happen to you. Peep the technique. This is what will happen to you. Mm, mm, mm. You don't want to mess with the ruckness monster. Trust and believe. Yeah, he's a uh, he's got a skeleton face. <laughs> yes, this was this uh this particular faceplate is uh from a, a storyline. Actually, he's appeared this way a couple times, but the very first time he appeared this way was in a storyline. You could actually see him looking like this if you have the uh, SDCC. I believe it's 2016 Thanos Imperative uh, five pack, and um, it didn't come with Galactus at all. It just had Galactus. It's the face on the box. I the remember box. That. Yeah. In fact, the mouth opened up and it revealed Blastar. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then or blast arcs was on the back the fate it opened up and it revealed the four other figures that came with it which were uh medusa i believe it was um black bolt medusa and um i can't think of um the other two figures that came with it but um the three that i know of were black bolt medusa and uh blast star was on the back so uh, but anyway yeah watch yourself all right we got toys mm -hmm. Noise and action figures? No, nobody? Nobody? Okay, all right, no problem. All right, well, anyway, so I'm standing here. This is my nephew, Kamani, right here. This is DJ Rex, young prince right here, Kamani. Since, uh, Rex, since Rex is too too shy to, too shy. Uh, to appear on camera. Plus, Kamani's sent, way cooler. He sent his envoy. <laughs> he sent his envoy. But you know what? Hey, this guy's gonna be a superstar uh, one day too. So is his sister, so is his little brother. But uh, we standing here with these toys right now, but we wanted to bring Kamani in here because as you can see, uh, this is Galactus, this is Kamani, you've met both. Come here, Kamani, let me lift you up, boy. Look, look how big this thing is compared to a child. Look at that. I mean, look how big he is compared to me. I'm not that big anyway, but I mean, so Kamani, what do you think? You speak you, up. You can speak up. You think it's amazing? Yeah. Watch yourself, man. Come on, do you, you think this is worth four hundred dollars? Yes, Tell me what I you think. <laughs> I think it does. Mm -hmm. Now, don't it let him can. intimidate. You. Don't let don't let Galactus intimidate you. You can say what you want. Be honest. I Be am honest. Galactus, the devourer of worlds. Kneel before my power. What do you What do you think about the other toys that came with it? What do you think about the other action I think figures? I think they're all so cool. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. I, know, I like this one too. This one belong, but reminds me of Beyonce. You think so? Don't mind rage right now. Yeah, I know. This is still an unboxing video. We right. will not transform it to a thirst fest right. uh, at this time, especially over golden plastic. Yeah, so yes. um, once again, back to Galactus. She got abs too. She got abs. And uh, just put that there. You're honestly. determined. You're determined. So you. Kamani, thank you very much for your honest opinion. I wanted to get Kamani's opinion because Kamani is such a bright young man, and we knew he'd give us an honest opinion about Galactus. Uh, come on, don't touch Galactus, though, because it's very expensive. Thank you, you very much. Give him a pound? He wants to shake your hand? <laughs> Go ahead, come on. <laughs> there it is. All right, so on Toys, Noise, and Action Figures, you know we have the rating scale, and I want Ruck to give his rating, because this is also the Ruckus uh, YouTube channel, too. But on Toys, Noise, and Action Figures, we have the rating scale, which goes from whack. Uh, don't do it. Save your money. You'll thank me later. Uh, then there's cool. Cool. You know, why not? You know, you might probably find it in a Barbie bin or something like that. You won't find Galactus here, but you can probably find it in a Barbie bin somewhere. Uh, then there's dope. You know what? Go ahead and get it. Live a little. Have fun. And then there's classic. And classic, as you guys know, is pre-order two. Uh, one to display and one to keep men in box. And in the case of this HasLab Galactus, I definitely have to say it's classic. I know you guys are like, well, Reg, you always say that HasLab projects are classic. Well, first of all, I believe that the ones so far that I've been able to back have been classic. And the reason being is because they put so much time and development into it. And then the other thing is, too, when everybody starts complaining about the price, as soon as it goes up on the aftermarket, which is usually while the campaign is ongoing, you end up seeing it going for double, triple the price. So in my book, that's one of the criteria for it being classic is that it's going to have staying power. The value is going to go up on it. Um, you're going to get a return on your investment if that's what you're into. Uh, if you're like me, I just like having it. And I love the way that this thing came out. All the lines, the paint, the sculpt, um, the features with the light ups, um, the tears that got back. Beyonce. Um, I'm just I'm a big fan of it. And I think it's classic. Ruck. My rating scale. As long as he got this head on, we're going for the big dub whack. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look at me that way. Yeah. Not to Doctor Doom. As they used to say back in the day, off with your head. Yeah. But now, if we go the way how it's supposed to be, this is an 11 out of 10 mm -hmm. for shizzle for rizzle. Yep. And. Uh, it's just it's cool i mean it's 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 crazy tall in fact in fact 
Are you gonna stand go because you gonna act you gonna act up now because you and I had beef. It's top heavy though. Is that what you're gonna do? You're yeah. gonna act up because we had beef? Is that is that how you gonna play it? Okay, stay. For the cameras, I remove this from my display so you guys can see what's the what. Word up. There it is. Comparison. Sentinel 2020. 2021 has lab marvel and if you guys didn't if you guys didn't see it already we did a review on the sentinel last year so uh please check that out i'll have the link in the description below so there it is you see the difference and we were swooning over this when it came out yeah you know what i'm saying and then when we knew about galactus we was like and galactus is going to be bigger and trust and believe galactus is bigger even without his antlers He's, he's sitting up there tall. He's just... Look at the shoulders. The yeah, shoulders he's, right there. He's literally his, yeah, bigger. Yeah. He's literally bigger. I mean, Hasbro went on and did the proportions. They didn't just make him taller. They made him proportionally bigger. So look at that profile. So you can see what I'm talking about. He's actually a bigger a bigger figure because uh, in the comics, he was a bigger character. And for those of you new to the game, these are literally... Uh, Marvel Legends figures. These are Marvel Legends and these are Marvel Legends figures, but these are also Marvel Legends figures. So, I mean, Hasbro and the team over at Marvel Legends is doing their thing uh, by making sure and giving us, what is it, a dream project. And that's the dream project because you're not going to find it on shelves. So, I believe it's a classic, uh, but you're more than welcome to your own opinion too. If you got it in hand, I'm sure you probably agree with me. Please leave the comments down below because I wanted to hear your opinion too. Uh, I know I don't get a chance to do a lot of these videos uh, that frequently, but when I do, it's a big deal. Literally. So, Rut? Yes. Any of y'all that have been on my channel, you know that I try to pump out content regularly. And... Uh, yeah, we're trying to uh, we're trying to fly it as we build it. So um, if you haven't subscribed to the Ruckus, find me. Well, you'll already see me. But subscribe, like the video. You know what I'm saying? Leave your questions, your comments, your concerns, your criticisms. Even we're we're here for it. Word up. Definitely smash the bell if you want to be notified for the next time I or he uploads another video, and you shall be so notified. Mm -hmm. Definitely, this is Galactus, Galen from the previous universe. This is HasLab 2022. As Definitely. always, I want to also sign off by saying, uh, as always, uh, be kind to each other. Uh, you know, just, uh, we got a lot of negativity going on in the world. That's why we're into what we're into, because it keeps us young at heart. Um, as always, be good to yourselves, be good to others, show empathy, open your toys, play with them. Peace. And as for me, if you're aware of my closing statement, it's always this. Remember, the hunt continues. And I'm out. Hers. Give me the peace sign. It's money. You can do whatever you want. This is all getting cut out. That, that, this is all.